Welcome to Ted's Trails Outdoor Classrooms. In this episode, we're looking at the parts of a plant. The three main plant parts that we'll be looking at are leaves, stem, and roots. Every plant has leaves. Leaves are shaped differently. Leaves are there to help the plant make food. All the food that the plant needs is made in the leaves. Leaves need sunshine, water, and air. That's all they need to make food. They make their own food. Animals don't make their own food. Animals have to eat other kinds of food. But plants can make their own food. Notice the stem of this plant. The stem is there to provide support, or hold up the plant, and it helps water get up to the leaves. Remember, the leaves need that water to help the plant make its own food. Notice how the stem of this plant holds those leaves up high to the sun. These are the roots. You can just see some of the roots sticking up. The roots help provide support and help provide water to the whole plant. The roots grow down into the soil. So I had planted these plants a few weeks ago from seeds and now they've grown. And I wanna share with you guys. So I had planted some of these seeds so I had planted some of these plants a few weeks ago from seeds, and now they're growing. They're getting ready to go in the ground. I've got a few weeks more before I do that, though. So we've got some cucumbers, zucchini, some squash, some beans, some really nice vegetables. I'm looking forward to enjoying those when they come out. So what I want to take a look at are some of the younger plants that I've got here, and I'm just going to pull one out. I use these little planters uh, they've got a cloth wrapped around the soil so that when you put the seed in there, it holds the root ball and the soil together. And here you can see that the roots are actually starting to grow out of the cloth. So we'll take that right out of the container. And I'm going to take that cloth off in just a moment and we'll wash away all of that soil and get a good look at the whole plant. Here you can see the leaves, the stems. Now you can see the roots sticking out of that ball of soil that's being held together. So I'm going to peel that cloth off and then wash everything off in the water. You can see all that soil starting to come out. Rip that cloth off. Taking some of the, the tiny little roots with it can't help that, but we'll see the rest of the roots here once I get all the soil washed away. The soil helps to give the plant support. It's what holds the plant up. There's also a lot of nutrition in the soil in all the plant matter and some of the fertilizer that's in the soil. That gives it nutrition. It's kind of like the vitamins and minerals that are in the foods that you and I eat. And then soil, of course, also helps the plant get the water. The water stays in the soil and then the roots soak all of that water up into the plant so that the leaves can help it make its own food. Now here you can see that we're getting the soil off and those roots are starting to look a little bit like hair. See those really fine hairs? Those are the roots of the plant. That's what grows down into the soil to help hold it up and to get the water and the nutrients that the plant needs. The plant doesn't get food from the soil. The plant makes its own food in the leaves. It gets nutrients from the soil. So there's a look at the root system of a plant.
Now that water looks like chocolate milk with all that soil and plant matter mixed in there. That's good potting soil. That's why it's so rich and brown. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to let it soak for a little while and separate out. And you'll see later on, I'm going to separate the soil from the plant matter that's in the potting soil mix that I use to start the plant. Right now, though, it just looks like a big cup of chocolate milk. So here you can see the whole plant. You can see its leaves, you can see the stem, and you can see the roots. All right, so now we've got a good idea of what the main parts of a plant are. Thanks, guys.